What's going on? Welcome to Classy Tacos. We got kind of like a little bit of a fun, odd one today. I've been noticing I'm having issues with my sensitive elbow, rubbing up against the very rough center console, and there's nothing that kind of suits my needs on how I want to fix this, because I could just buy a cover for it, but I don't like the way any of those covers look. I also don't feel like sending this out to somebody to make me like a custom piece, because there's some people out there that do a really good job with that, but I'm not getting into any of that. What I'm going to try my best to do is to put some cushioning inside of it. So we're going to go take apart the center console, get that installed, and then much props to my wife for ordering her BoxyCharm box of makeup every month, which by the way, I love looking through it because it's kind of funny to get the secret makeup stuff. And anyways, that comes with this awesome bit of cushioning. So thank you, BoxyCharm. We're going to try to put some of that in there. Because I did look around online and I tried to find like one of those cool gel pads because they sell personal gel pads. Interesting. But they're like 40 bucks and up. And I was like, that's not going to work for me. Uh, this was free. So let's get into that right now. All right. So here we are on the bench. Um, this is pretty simple to take off. I didn't film it. You're talking two, four, six kind of screws that you can see here. And then take a pry tool, kind of reach in here pop this thing off and you're going to run into another four screws right here that attach to kind of the mechanism that's spring loaded. That's it. So once you have this piece off like this, uh, you see that lip. So I'm just going to, have, I haven't taken it off yet. So I don't know if it's glued or not. So let's just kind of, we're going to do this here together and see, Oh, I think, I think we're money. So this looks like there's no glue, no nothing. And this is kind of just the little pad that you have here. So we're gonna pad this bad boy up and look at this boxy charm piece is almost like, dude, dude, this is almost perfect. So let's start making some cut. Actually, I don't even need a blade. Just get some, let me, I don't even have scissors out here. Let me go get some inside we're crafting today let me go get some scissors all right i got the scissors i should have put my crafting shirt on today so i'm not gonna get too i'm not too concerned with it kind of coming over the edge so but i would like maybe i'm gonna line this up on the corner here and the corner here so we're nice here so it looks like right here i'm gonna start cutting about here Oh my God, these scissors are terrible. My wife needs to step up her scissor game in the house here. What the hell are you cutting with those? Anyways, all right, so that looks good there. Dude, this is almost perfect. But I definitely, I want to take off just a little bit on the edge here. Same thing here, so we're just going to... I think maybe I will blade this. Let's see. Some. Let's get out of the way. Let's get this out of the way. Let's get this out of the way. Break the shit. So here's my. I'm gonna bring in the extra cutting board. All right. Favorite rulers. If you ever have a chance to to go to like garage sales and estate sales, and like anybody who works in the garage, you'll find these old awesome rulers. So we're gonna cut off like just a tiny little bit here. So what I'm gonna end up doing is putting this like this lining this up like right here let's get a better i need a solid river so about right there and then i'm going to take the blade and just kind of want to push down and follow follow the ruler line see how good this works it could be terrible uh yeah that was pretty terrible let's uh let's try that again at least we're terrible together Oh, maybe it's my blade. Maybe my blade just sucks. But this is what happens when you craft. You learn and you, you grow together. So we're crafting. All right. We're going to put the crappy end over towards the passengers because we normally don't like them anyways. Uh, this in the front doesn't look bad. So I'm going to just try to follow that edge there. And... Kind of follow 
the edge here. You know, I was thinking about doing two, but I'm thinking one might be good. All right, so now that we have this here, I'm hesitant to glue it down just yet. I don't want to throw any glue down because I have like kind of, you know, the spray headliner glue. It could probably work perfectly here, but hesitant to do that right now. I want to see if this will even line back up real quick. So let's see what this does. Start getting the lips in. Oh yeah, boys. So that fit in there well. Ooh, that feels nice. That is soft. That is so much better than what was there. Kind of, my arm kind of ends up like right here and that just feels way better. It's like really soft back in here and kind of in the center where it's not kind of pushed down so hard. But yeah, that's a, that's an improvement. Um, and the best part about this is, is that once you, I can't bolt this on right here right now because I got to get these four bolts in the truck in first. But once you, um, once you bolt this in, right, it holds the clips. So you don't have to worry. I'll show you what I mean. See these clips right here on the rubber? So it holds that in. So it kind of will maintain this tight. You don't have to worry about coming off as long as you get all the clips in. So awesome. This is exciting, guys. This is our first crafting video. It's perfect. All right, cool. Let's uh let's go get this back in the truck. All right, we are back in the truck. See those four right here? So this it has to go in a certain way. So we're gonna end up kind of letting it slide in there. And there's these two pins right here. You're gonna line up those pins. And these four bolts are gonna go in first, and you wanna get these in before you clip on that piece. So, let me get those in real quick. All right, so those are the four that you wanna get in first. Then you're gonna take this guy, clip it into place. This, just make sure all of those clips that are in kind of those rubber pieces. And then you're gonna take six of these tiny little screws that I'm almost guaranteed to lose one here on video any second. And uh, you're gonna take those and just start working them in. Uh, I would say don't go too ham on these. That's why I'm using this the screwdriver. I'm not using any power tools because they're all just screwing into plastic, so. Just like that, you can't even tell you got anything in there. And oh my god, that feels so much better. Let's go do test run. Come in, sit down. But my oh elbow is loving it. Yes. Oh, that feels so freaking good. Perfect. Guys, just make sure to do it because your elbow's gonna love it. And don't act like your elbow doesn't bother you. Don't act like you're too tough, alright? Either way. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoy. Stay safe out there.